Hi, I'm Paris, and today on Tech Tuesday, I've decided to see what kind of tech items you can find at the dollar store, and do they really work? Today on A Closer Look, it's Tech Tuesday. Lots of people shop at the dollar store every day, and if you're buying bread or soup or soap, you pretty much know what you're getting. But what about electronics? For one dollar, what can you really buy? What does it claim to do? What does it actually do? So I picked up five items to test out here. One minute test on each. We have mini stereo speakers. It looks like a little boom box plugs into your phone. One dollar. Anti-gravity pen, astronaut pen. I always wanted one of these when I was a kid, just so I could write upside down. This is a zoomable flashlight. So it's similar to those as seen on TV, ad flashlights where you can zoom in and make the light really focused at a distance. Let's see if it does that. These are earbuds. Now, some people go through them real quick, so maybe a dollar is good enough if you're gonna lose them in a week or two, but these are connected by what looks like a shoelace. And finally, this is a micro USB wristband. Now, why in the world would you want that? Is this considered fashion in the tech world? No, this is so you will always have the cable you need to charge your phone with you. Mini stereo speakers, lightweight and stylish. There's a little flip out part here that gives you this type of jack, so they'll plug into a phone or a tablet or a Walkman, I guess, if you have one of those. There's no batteries in this, so no amplification. My question is, how does this differ from just using your speakerphone? They're surprisingly heavy, like there's heavy magnets in there or something, but without amplification, I don't think this will be able to take advantage of big magnets in the speaker. Let's listen to the same volume from the speakerphone and then from this. I have the volume turned all the way up on my phone in speakerphone mode and in headphone mode, which is what these trigger. So let's hear what it sounds like just with the speakerphone. Hi, I'm Paris and welcome to Tech Tuesday here on A Closer Look. Today I'm going to be trying out the Atomic Beam Flashlight. This okay. is a tactical flashlight like this that works even when it's dropped, even when it's submerged in water, and it has this feature. I'm really... That's as loud as it gets. So I would say it's less than half the volume of the internal speaker phone. I guess you can bend it and do things like that. But I would have to rate this as not very useful. Sound does come out of it, but it's half the volume of the speaker phone of the device. So the mini stereo speaker, that's a no. Maybe I'll have better luck with the anti-gravity pen. The way these space pens or anti-gravity pens work to write upside down is there's a pressurized ink cartridge. So it basically will push the ink out even when you're holding the pen upside down. That's something most pens won't do. But the refill for most pens costs more than a dollar. So I'm not sure what to expect from this. Twist it and let's see if it'll write for some dollar pens. That's a major accomplishment. Nothing yet. Oh, here comes the ink. That started right away, that looks fine. So now that the ink is flowing, I'm going to try writing upside down and see if it'll continue to write. Most pens will write for a little bit upside down. Here we go. Still working. Continues to write. Let me try this with a regular pen and see if a regular pen would have run out by now. I'll try to write the very same thing. Still writing. Oh, we're running out of ink there. Oops, gotta keep the pen in this direction. All gone. Nothing. Yeah, it ran out about halfway through, whereas the anti-gravity pen kept on writing. Anti-gravity pen works great and is really cool. Now I have an astronaut pen finally. Next up is the tactical flashlight. This is a super bright tactical telescoping flashlight. So it's supposed to do everything a $20 as seen on TV tactical flashlight will do. They do not include batteries, but of course you're getting all that tactical tech here for $1. For comparison purposes, here's the Atomic Beam flashlight and as seen on TV product that I reviewed in my very first video on this channel. Let's see how bright it is. And when we zoom in, we get that. 
Okay, let's compare. I took the three AAA batteries out of this atomic beam flashlight there and here. Let's see how bright this is. It works. There's light. It's not quite as bright or wide as this flashlight. And then the zoom function is a twist feature. And not quite as good as the atomic beam flashlight, but for a dollar I'm impressed it actually works as a flashlight and it is zoomable. So I think this goes in the category with the anti-gravity pen. It works and it's cool. Next up, some shoelace earbuds. Shoelace earbuds, lightweight and comfortable. And should you happen to break a shoelace, you've always got a spare plugged into your ears. Why shoelaces? I don't know, but let's see if they work. I'm going to compare them to a Panasonic $12 pair of earbuds that are actually the best earbuds you can buy for under $25. These are not discreet. Let me listen to a little bit more of that YouTube video with these earbuds. It's not bad. I can hear it fine. That's with the volume all the way up. I'll continue listening to the video at the same volume with these. Much louder, much richer sound. And I'm shouting, I realize now. <laughs> so much better, but they did work. They're not going to give you a whole lot of depth to the music that you listen to. But, but if this is the the fashion statement that you're looking to make, depth in the music may not be your top concern. The shoelace earbuds go in the win category, even though the sound wasn't great, it worked and you could hear what was playing, so those are good too. Next up and last, another fashion statement possibly, this is the cable that wraps around your wrist so you always have a charging cable with you. This is a micro USB wristband, that means it'll work for Android devices, not for iPhones. They do make a separate one for iPhones. You separate it, and there's your standard USB connector, and in here is your micro USB connector. Now you may be asking, what good is just having the cable if you don't have a battery backup or your charger for your phone? Well, just getting back from a trip to Seattle for Thanksgiving, I noticed that everywhere, in the car, in the airport, in the hotel, on the little nightstand next to the bed, they have the box that does the conversion to 5 volt. So you don't need anything except the cable to charge your phone because it has the USB connector built into the little panel. You plug that in, the other end into your phone, and you're charging. So the cable now is actually turning out to be key because the port that you plug this into is everywhere. I have my ingress charger all ready to go. Let's see how well this fits into my phone. It's a little rough. This is my old ZMAX ZTE phone. Oh, I got a buzz. So we do have power transfer. Not the smoothest fit, but it did fit. So with this little wristband, you can always have the cable you need to charge your phone or tablet. And when you're not using it for charging, it's a fashion accessory. And it actually does fit on my wrist. Though I don't think I'm going to wear this around. Probably the kids will like to hold on to this because for them, it's important that the phone be working every minute. So the micro USB wristband, another winner. We have four out of five products that turned out to work surprisingly well, even have some cool features for $1. Only one disappointed mini stereo speaker where the volume wasn't high enough to even match that of the speakerphone. Good to know that even the tech stuff at the dollar store mostly seems to work. So don't be afraid to pick up little items as stocking stuffers for Christmas this year. You can click that subscribe button down below and I'll see you next Tuesday.